Welcome to the month of February, guys. Happy new month. Welcome to the month of love. February happens to be my favorite month because it's my birthday month. I, I can't go to my job. Like, literally, I'm so happy to be the beginning of February because your girl was born in the month of February. I was born February 22nd, so you guys save the date for February 22nd and wish me a happy birthday on that day. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a February research routine because I officially just feel like my new year actually started this month of February and I've seen a lot of videos about research routines, weekly routines, and all this monthly reset stuff and I really love watching those kind of videos so I'm like why not just hop on it and actually make my own version of my monthly reset routine yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. So in this video, I'm going to do everything to actually mentally and physically prepare myself for the month of February. I really want to achieve a lot this month because it's my month, so I feel like I owe it to myself to do my possible best this month. This video, I'm getting to do a closet clean out. I'll be doing grocery shopping. I'll be talking about my January, more like a January recap. I'll also be doing some visualization for the year, and I'm gonna be talking about my healthy habits or incorporating healthy eating into my lifestyle. So guys, if you are here for that kind of content, be sure to keep watching. Now, please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. You can actually agree with me that January was really fast. Normally, January is usually the slowest month of the year, but I don't know, for some reasons, January was running. It ran and it ran. First off, I want to show you guys what my closet looks like right now. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Promise. I can explain like I'm not usually this messy I'm not usually messy to begin with but just that most of my classes are towards midi like I said in one of my videos and I'm the kind of student that prepares for classes like 10 minutes before time it's usually a hassle for me to pick out the outfit I want to wear for that day and in course of picking it I kind of like scatter the whole place looking for something I really want to that's why my closet is looking like that I literally see have my laundry that I've done for days now they I've not arranged it and I also want to change the position of some of my clothes i want to switch the position of my workout clothes and my homestay clothes i want to put my workout clothes here since they are not much since this is a much bigger space i also want to put my homestay clothes here because my homestay clothes are actually getting bigger day by day and i don't like the way they are all mumbled there don't waste any more time let's get right into closet clean out i'm gonna set my timer now for 30 minutes so i don't waste so much time in doing this I'm looking for your motivation let this be your motivation to clean your space like a clean space is a clean mind yeah, that makes sense <laughs> I just finished arranging my closet and it was a whole lot of work. I just even found the skirt I was looking for for over two weeks now. So if you are looking for your clothes, arrange your closet. You'll probably see it there. Now I'm just going to go ahead to clean up my surfaces, clean my room, and just get everything organized and sparkling.
I was cleaning as you all saw me and I was just like by my spirit to actually open up my closet like underneath my bed and you guys I am baffled with what I saw you see all those enclosed spaces in your house be sure to clean it all please honestly speaking like open it up there's a lot of deaths and children of the dead hiding in there look at it yourself The best way to start off the new month is by reflecting on the previous one, the setting goes for the new one, I'm making sure to manifest. So on this note, I want to give you guys a recap of my January, seeing the goals I actually set for myself. Because I set my goals in such a way that it's monthly, so it doesn't feel so cumbersome and too much for me to handle. I'm going to be assessing everything I actually wrote down and seeing the one I achieved and I'm going to make my goal setting for the new month February. Hopefully I achieve more than I actually want or expect for this month February, so let's do that, come on. So first of the month of January, I wrote that I want to put out three to four videos on YouTube and I think I actually achieved this. Let me give that a tick. I also said I wanted to work out at least 16 times this month, that is three to four times a week. And trust me guys, out of everything I actually wrote here, this is the one goal that baffled me. It was mind blowing because actually something that I started doing recently going to the gym with my friends and you guys your girl actually achieved this I worked out a total of 16 times. I made sure to take the days I actually worked out and I counted the times for 16 times Even in days where it felt like it was impossible because there was a time that was a storm So for that they cancelled classes they closed the gym and I had every reason to actually deny myself of going to the gym But I actually made sure to work out. I used my yoga mat and I worked out in my room So I'm so proud of that particular goal. Then I said drink a gallon of water daily mm. did i achieve this goal Dirty part of the month i drank my water like you would always see me with this bottle most of the time in my videos gulping my water i would say i achieved this partly maybe 21 out of 31 days i drank water yeah honestly speaking i did a lot for my january i was so happy i swapped out soda for water throughout the month of january i didn't drink soda i'm so proud right oh wait does apple juice count as soda <laughs> Because I, I know I had apple juice a few times, but yeah, I really love drinking water now. Take daily vitamins. This is a no, a big ass no. I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't take my vitamins. They are literally still the way they are since I came here. I didn't open them at all. And it's just that I don't like taking drugs, even though this was actually nice. It tastes good, but just the fact that I, every day I have to be gulping down something. I don't like it so this one is no i didn't take my daily vitamins but hopefully i actually do better for myself this month and start taking my vitamins another one i said i was gonna fast at least three times this month and your girl did that one thing i'm really happy with myself with i'm proud of myself is actually how i kind of took god very serious this month i made sure to over fast way more than three times I i've been trying to build up my like spiritual you know life with god and i think i did this although i actually skipped sometimes i didn't go for fellowship a few times and it's actually bad but for this particular goal i actually achieved this i achieved this i'm so glad and i'm so happy it just makes me gives me this rest of mind and peace when i pray or fast or do anything related to god so start reading your bibles the next one is read a book <laughs> i didn't finish reading the book i wanted to i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't actually finish reading this book and it's actually bad it's so nice but the thing about me is that most of the time i actually make take up my time doing 
things that are unnecessary and I leave out things that are actually important to me and a priority. I feel so bad. I wanted to finish reading this book by the end of January, but your girl is not even halfway. Practice the act of gratitude. To some extent, I actually did this. I mentioned to be thankful every day. I mentioned three things to myself sometimes that I'm grateful for. And sometimes I just journal my thoughts and it actually just makes me see that there are things to be grateful for regardless of whatever situation I'm currently going through. Read Bible and pray daily. I didn't do this every single day. God, I'm so sorry. I didn't read my Bible every day. Yeah. Journal at least three times a week. Let me actually check my journal to see if I actually journal three times a week. <laughs> I didn't journal. I'm so sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I did a bit, but not as much as I wanted to. As I said, like January was a trial and error month, so February was going harder, stronger, and bigger. Now I'm just gonna go ahead to actually make my plans for February, write my goals for this month, and hopefully I work towards achieving them. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Run me down, them up, run me down. Count me out, them up, count me out. Hold it down, me up, hold it down. One man, I mean, me up, hold it down. Cool it down, me up, cool it down. Cut the flow. Go ahead to update my notion and use it to plan my content. I usually use notion to plan my content for the moment because I just feel like when I have my content laid out and planned, it actually motivates me to film them. Uh, man, a real bad man, you cannot tell me where for me. See my down, see my down, hear my story now. You can hold me down, grace to glory now. Man, I hold the man, to the man, or rule the man. They can't defeat the man now. They can't hold me down. Bad man, I be forever. They can't stop me now. Hasta la vista, baby. Settle down. Settle down. I'm still the man. I'm on the man. They want the man. I'm still the man. I'm on the man. I'm gonna go ahead now to create my vision board. Normally, I don't do vision board. Probably when I put it in my as my desktop work paper, I'll be going to be moved and motivated to achieve it. I'm trying so much to set realistic goals for myself. I don't just want to do the aesthetic. I want to set things up that actually seems attainable if I work hard. My mantra for this month is actually consistency over perfection because that is one thing i actually struggled with growing growing up i always loved to do something like be perfect when i'm doing things and i've noticed that it actually limited my chances of actually getting better because i forget that the main thing is actually showing up every day and giving those little steps so let's get right into visualizing I'm actually so proud of what I did. I'm so so proud and it just makes much sense to me now when I'm opening my system seeing all this thing here it's going to motivate me definitely. I really love the way it made my whole laptop look change because it was actually the bare one it came without how the wallpaper was and this is this is amazing. You know, I'm proud and everything here actually signifies something. Let me show you. So this is meant to represent me and my friends. This is meant to represent me and my sisters. I have two sisters. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I really love this. I'm gonna take a quick picture of it right now. <laughs> I feel so delighted with everything I've done today to reset my February. I honestly feel like February is on the right track to greatness. If you're looking for a sign, let this be a sign for you to improve yourself. There's so much space and so much time for you to do a lot for yourself. So now I'm gonna turn into something more appropriate and head out to do some quick grocery shopping. I actually don't have a lot of things to buy this month, thankfully. And if you guys want to know what I mean, Check this video up here. My groceries actually spread up for the month of February for free. Right now, I'm just gonna go and get some of the things I might probably need.
done now and i'm going to be doing a quick grocery haul as always i didn't get so many things this time around so first off on our list i got this cooker oat my granola mine is actually finished so i got some more i got this protein drink i got two of it i also got me some cutting pads some command chips for my board i don't know if you all notice my board is not hanging here because this sheet been falling for days right now it's almost even broken so i got some command chips to actually hang it up properly lastly i got me my protein powder i've always wanted to get protein powder so today i told myself you know what so i'm going to go and get this protein powder so i think that's pretty much it i didn't get so many things this time around because i didn't eat so much i'm gonna head out now to the kitchen and actually make me what i've been craving so much which is roasted potatoes and egg sauce i was craving it so much on sunday i stepped out and i went to buy all the ingredients i was going to use i really want to prioritize my health this february i want to eat as healthy as i possibly can for january i kind of ate healthy but not as much as i wanted to do some sleeps along the way but for february we're getting better for the beginning so guys let's head out now to the kitchen i'm going to change it to my own steak throat something more comfy and i'm going to start cooking today's video i do hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing the whole process of me preparing for my february if you're looking for a sign let this be your sign to get your month or the year on track and let me know some of the plans you guys have for this month and you guys we're on our way to 1k thank you so much for the love the support if i yet to subscribe please be sure to subscribe to my video get out 